Now, apart from reacting to TikToks, <laughs> reacting to houses, reacting to a terrible German Bundesliga team, Schalke, show! Apart from all those things, most people know me from my style of editing. You're like now back when I was a wee little nipper, also known as like 15 years old, I was in media studies watching two channels called Corridor Digital and Freddy W. And who do you think I am? What? I don't know. Why don't you ask? You. They would make visual effects shorts about like three minutes long, just a good fun film with loads of visual effects thrown in. Now Corridor Digital still do that amongst loads of other things like VFX Artist Reacts and the scale of a Titan from Attack on Titan. They even did a video where they did a live production of Avatar 2 but used an AI to generate a script for Avatar 2. Which if you can't tell by now, that's where I got my inspiration to make my video making YouTubers and AI create a movie. These two channels were what inspired me to learn visual effects and editing and also to be a YouTuber, which I am now, which is still insane, so thank you to the person watching this. Now Corridor on their channel do a series where they turn a PG rated film into an 18 plus rated gore fest. If your hand gets caught in the beam, it's... It's incredible and I love it so, so much. And I really want to be able to do that. Now what Corridor haven't done is make YouTubers videos go terribly wrong. That's what I'm gonna try and do today. I wanna to try and do them justice. It will be nowhere near as good as them, but this is about learning. I want to make something that is at least pretty funny and cool to look at. However, I've got a few problems. I've actually tried to make this video twice before and both times I've given up. I've told myself, oh, oh, I just can't do it. I can't do it. It's too complicated. But it turns out that's complete bullshit and an absolute cop out. I'm giving up too easily. And so this week I'm giving myself the pressure to complete at least one 3D animated visual effects shot for the end of this exact video. A shot which I have to complete by 5 p.m. on Friday four days away. I've tried to learn 3D visual effects stuff before and I've always just ended up giving up and being like, oh, I don't have the time. Oh, it's too difficult. I can't get out of it. The biggest reason people give up on learning something or give up on their goals because when it gets a little bit difficult, you just sort of go, oh, maybe it's not for me. Oh, I'll give up. If you're not immediately good at the thing, you just sort of give up. But learning is the fun bit. Why do we all give up? Learning takes time and effort. And I forget that all the time. I want to make a segment at the end of this video, which is about a minute and a half to two minutes of YouTubers videos going horribly wrong. In that compilation, I need to achieve just one fairly good and not that janky 3D animated VFX shot. I've given myself quite a lot of work to do, but what happens when you do that and you have a deadline is that you bloody do it and you cram it all in and you learn. If I don't manage to do this, as I mentioned before, then it would have been like I had wasted my entire week and I would just be paid less this month because I would have uploaded less and that's really, I hate that, that's not good. It makes me feel sick. Let's get going. It is currently one o'clock on Monday the 7th. Teeth. I've given myself a lot of work to do. However, I've already done some of the work. Ages ago, I scrapped a video called Dude Perfect, but everything goes wrong. So I got about 30 seconds of it. After that this morning, I've just been downloading clips and, and finding the perfect clips to do VFX on. For example, we've got a Chris MD one. I want to make this ball not go in the goal and actually smash through her head. That San Andres, if you shoot someone's head off, it goes like that's that's what I want to do. I've also got a bunch of sidemen clips. They're having a paintball fight. I want to add in some real muzzle flare and some blood to make it, you know, they're actually killing each other. Now after that, I've got my good friend Max Foch rating some meal deals. In my head, I want to replace what's on the table with something mental. And I don't know what yet, but it's going to work. Trust me. Sorry. One of the best clips I've ever seen in my entire life. However, 
Harry's mom's head doesn't explode into very visceral pieces. That's what I want to do. Now this is going to be the main money shot of the piece. This is what it's all going to build up to. As I mentioned in the previous video, they can all be decent, but you need a final intense ending. Right, I better get to work. I've made a grave error. It turns out rendering stuff takes a bit of time. This is a 79 frame sequence. Each frame at the moment is taking a minute. So this will take an hour and 20 minutes to export. And then hopefully if that's all fine and I don't have to export it again, <laughs> then I've got three more shots to do. And then I've got to do one massive shot at the end. And it's currently Tuesday at 10 o'clock. Oh, I've also got to edit the entire video. <sighs> I'm not feeling too confident, but I do feel like it's possible if, and this is a big if, if I never fucking sleep ever again. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's going pretty swimmingly well at the moment. My Chris MD shot is done, all my Max Foss shots are nearly done, but most importantly, I'm learning, and I'm really fucking excited about it. I'm learning 3D stuff, and it's, it's sticking in my brain, because I'm hammering it, and I'm really fucking excited. I'm using a completely free program called Blender, and it is notoriously difficult to learn. Just learning the navigation and how to get around the program is really quite stressful, and I've really struggled with it for ages, and I've always given up and now I can do it. I know that sounds like a small thing, but it's annoyed me for so long and I've always given up and tried to go to Cinema 4D and I finally get it and it's really exciting. In this short amount of time, I've also learned how to camera match my footage so that way I can add objects into the scene and they'll be at the correct perspective, which is just bloody brilliant. I'm, I am over the moon. This is all very exciting stuff for me. I've got a couple of things to iron out on some of the Max Fosch clips, and then I can move on to blowing up Harry's mum's head in wonderful 3D VFX fashion, just in time for upload day. Beautiful. Um, I think I've already, royally fucked this. I went to meet some friends yesterday for a drink and then I got back at one because I got a bit carried away and then I had a couple, had a, you know, one too many and then now I don't feel so great and also I slept until half ten. I can only work till half five today because I'm meeting my girlfriend after work for dinner for the whole evening so I've reduced my time I can edit and I've still got the entire of the road to shore clip to do and also edit this entire video itself. Like, that's an insane amount of work in an insanely short amount of time with alcohol poisoning. And it's all my fault. Oh, I'm not particularly hopeful, but I really want to do it, so I'll give it a go. This is what I'm about to export. The ball smashing into Harry's mum's head. I don't know, it's pretty janky, I think. I don't know how well it's gonna come across. It was having a tough time and <laughs> and I really, I really want this up. If I've done it, you're about to watch the entire clip. Enjoy. is the up and over. Here we go. Yeah! One for the money, two for the show, three for the cornhole. Let's go. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, can you hold this? Can you fit in there? <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> it's the second episode of me rating meal deals. It's flame grilled. Yes. I'm impressed. Thank you. Not that impressed, I'm impressed. Hmm. You're doing all the right things here, Elliot. Yeah. Do you know, I'm a bit disappointed though, because Tesco's three pound this, three pound 20, so. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, uh, sorry. Eh? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of problems with it, but um, I'm really, I'm really buzzing that I managed to get it all done. This video, it was about getting that done, but it was mainly about learning and making myself learn something that I'd put off for an incredibly long time because it was really difficult and I always gave up. And this time I didn't give up and I've got it all done. There's a lot of times I wanted to give up during this and just, just give up again and, and just make a TikTok video, but I didn't. I kept going and I did it. Thanks for watching and don't give up learning whether you feel like learning. Bye. Women, women in general. I love women, specifically women, the ones in general, women. I love women. You know who doesn't? Shane Dawson, he likes cats.